Hi, I'm here with serial entrepreneur Shai Agassi and also the founder, CEO, and president of Better Place. Now, Shai, thank you so much for being here. Tell me, what is Better Place? Thank you. It's, in a sense, uh, the best comparison you can have is if you think of the electric car like a cell phone, we don't make the cars, we make them operate. So we're the AT&T of electric cars. We're the, the operator that installs the network. We uh, make them convenient and cheaper for the consumer. So summarize this for me. Can you give me your elevator pitch in one sentence how this all works? I mean, it sounds very complicated. It's, it's fairly straightforward. If we give a consumer a car that has no tailpipe and has no gas tank that would be cheaper to buy, cheaper to operate, and more convenient to use, every consumer would want to go to that kind of car. And as, as a result of that, we started from the position that said, if we put a network everywhere that allowed you to go anywhere you wanted to go without any delays, without any wait, and you, it caused you to stop less times at gas stations, so you do less switches than gas refills, and it will cost you less to buy the car, then we can get to that kind of, a, of an answer. We went out and partnered with our great partners over at Renault, and we got, uh, we got them to design a car, a lineup of cars that are fast, fantastic, beautiful to drive, that fit that same model, mm -hmm. that would be coming in at consumer prices at, at that sort of magic point of the $20,000 uh, price range. So as I understand, this better place is not only making cars, but also creating this massive infrastructure. But we actually don't make the cars. We, okay. we let the car makers make the cars, but which is what they working do. working with them. We work with them so that our, our network and their cars become a more convenient option than, uh, than a gasoline car for the consumer. In a sense, what we say is that uh, the answer, if you want, to inconvenient truth comes in the form of a convenient car. This sounds like a massive project. Mm -hmm. Not only are you trying to build an infrastructure in the U.S., you're trying to build them all over the world. How is this even possible? Uh, the, the secret is in, in designing for repeatability. So w we didn't go out and say, let's, let's do it sort of in a haphazard way in, in one place and then see what we do in a different place. We've designed from the get-go so that we have systems and machinery and installation process that is the same everywhere we go. It's effectively a company that can get replicated in every country again and again and again. We bring that, that magic in a box, that project, um, in the same design into every country we go and partner with. And in the local um, countries, in the locations, we actually find a partner who's strong enough to go and work with us on execution of that plan. It usually is utilities. It's usually... Um, gas, gas station operators, it's, it's uh, government agencies that actually have the ability to go implement that kind of a massive project in a country.